Last night, the Grammys happened. Did you not know that? Don't worry, most people didn't. A lot of people didn't know that the Grammys happened last night. Well, as you know, Taylor Swift is becoming even more of a cultural icon each and every single day here, it seems like. Well, last night, she finally met her match. She finally screwed up just one time, and watching the Media Machine cover for her was incredible. So what happened was she won her big award at the end there. She won it for uh, Album of the Year, and as she went up to accept her award, first she does the thing where she pretends like she didn't know she was going to win, and she's super surprised surprised and everything fine great but then as she's uh she's hugging everybody on her way up to the stage well the award was given to her by celine dion who was making her first public appearance since her diagnosis with stiff person syndrome and it was a it was a big deal she's a cultural icon as well she was a legend in me she's a legend in the music industry so it makes perfect sense well when taylor went to get her award from her she just kind of grabs it and then moves on yeah do without... we have a clip to yes, show her do, I do it i can i can i can show i this honestly to think this was blown out of proportion well, but... I mean, that's the thing. It's like it was blown out of proportion. But the thing is, when you're the when you're the king, you can't afford to make mistakes. When you're the, the queen, queen, you can't <laughs> afford queen. to make mistakes. Yes. Okay. So here we go. Okay. And the Grammy goes to. Oh. The anticipation is killing me. Everyone's like, oh, we know who's gonna win. Taylor Swift. She's like, oh, oh my God. I didn't know. I didn't know I had the best album of the year. Anyways, oh, that awkward, <laughs> that hug was like cringe. Okay, and she pulls all of her friends on stage and acts like a 12 year old. So there it is, now watch. Legendary okay, so she snatches the Grammy without making Doesn't eye contact. Look at her and just now look. She only makes eye contact with the Grammy. No. I believe 100% that this was an accident and she didn't mean anything rude by it. Doesn't well, matter. Immediately, so many people were outraged by this yes. and felt like Taylor Swift personally dissed Celine Dion by These not looking her in like the this, eye or saying thank you. Clips like this made it up on Twitter within minutes. Yes. Here's the thing that shocked me. As soon as this went up, and I'm not even kidding you, moments later, Variety, The Hollywood Reporter, all all of these different outlets posted a picture that they took backstage, which is damage control. You can call it whatever you want. This is damage control because her publicist had the photo taken and it immediately went to these outlets. I mean, it's kind of bizarre that you would need to damage control for something that was so almost negligible. Yes, like, it, I don't even see it as a faux pas almost. Yeah. I mean, what was she supposed to do? Like bow down at Celine Dion's feet? Um, here, I, actually, I can, I can show you what she was supposed to do. I mean, I'm sure that she, you know, could have looked her in the eye and been a little bit more composed and Correct. cordial, but is that really the worst Taylor thing that Taylor yeah. Swift has ever done well, in no, recent I mean, that's, memory? That's the problem, right? Is what people are saying is like, well, like you, when you're that high, it's, high celebrity, you are walking on eggshells all the time and you have to be very conscious of your public image. I get that. But then the Taylor Swift media industrial complex swooped in to save her from this faux pas that she committed. And people posted it saying she didn't ignore her. They're chilling. So they also zoomed in on Celine Dion's face and they made it seem like she took it personally when I doubt she even thought about it, honestly. Here's a clip of uh, Adele. Yeah. That's what she was supposed to do. Okay, I'm just saying that that's what people were criticizing. Let's it's look Monday at some tweets party. though. One person said, Taylor not even acknowledging Celine Dion is not sitting right with my spirit. Girl, that is Celine oh, Dion. We got, a, we got a $20 one here from Disco Jensen says, she's a hazard. Imagine an, urge, uh, an emergency and her large ass is blocking the emergency exit. That is true. Correct. A threat to public safety. She is. So someone had the same theory as you, Brett. They said Taylor's PR. Taylor, there's a lot of controversy on social media because you ignored Celine. Taylor, go find her right now and let me take a picture just to pretend I love her. <laughs> and here's this photo that, that they're talking about. And all I'm saying is that what shocked me is how quickly the, the outlets pulled this out. So Variety had this up moments later. Yeah, I mean, are you sure that it was intentional yes, on Taylor Swift's I absolutely part? Believe, yes, I absolutely believe that's intentional. I don't believe I for a second that somebody who puts as many Easter eggs into her albums and somebody who is as carefully crafted of a public Thank you. does anything by mistake. Thank you, guys. 
Thank you. Here was another essay that was written in Celine Dion's defense. I'm not listening to any excuses, especially after we watched how Miley acted with Mariah Carey at the show's start. This was not her first time at the Grammys, but her fourth time winning this award. It was her 13th Grammy overall, which is kind of interesting because 13 is Taylor Swift's lucky number. Uh, Swifties can dox me or whatever, but considering the significance of Celine coming to do this moment, to run around that stage, hugging and carrying on, and ultimately act as if this artist who has paved the way is not standing there is insane. The point is, is that it was very much not an intentional faux pas that it's very easy to take it out of context. And when your carefully crafted public image is reliant on you being a good person, you have to do everything right. But do we really believe that Taylor Swift has any ill will no, towards Celine no, not, Dion? No, not at all. It's just ridiculous, I think. Also, in her acceptance speech, she announced her new album, which is called The Tortured Poets Department. And I want to read an excerpt from one of those songs. And so I enter into evidence my tarnished coat of arms, my muses acquired like bruises, my talismans and charms, the tick, tick, tick of love bombs. Ew. My veins of pitch black ink, all is fair in love and poetry. Sincerely, the chairman of the tortured poets department. Also, this comment from Chief in the in the chat is what I like about it. He says, Taylor is much more of a boss and businesswoman, though, to be honest. Yes, it takes a lot of bossy businesswomanness to be able to project that Americana good girl image. It was it's so infuriating to watch her reaction to the award, and I might be overreacting, but for her to look around like she's so shocked that she got the award is so homecoming queen of Hollywood to me. Like she is literally the homecoming queen. And then they pan to other pop artists who were clapping for her after her album announcement. And they were just like, they had the most soulless look in their eyes as they were like smiling, like, <laughs> good for her. I'm totally happy for her. While somebody she's taking their business away. Somebody says Tay Tay secretly wrote, wrote Argyle. Yes, we actually have a video of that on our channel. You should go check it out after you watch this episode. However, I'm now of the opinion that JK Rowling yes. wrote Argyle. We had a $20 one here from uh, number one says, oh, you got that one? These yeah. proper garden tools in Hollywood be shopping. The minute folks give up the cancer that is social media, the Hollywood star dies. Mary gonna do a blue hair fade? <laughs> Cheers, champs. How much would it cost to get a, a blue haired fade for you, Mary? Um, if it would be like flushing down the toilet, all the money I've spent on my hair so far. Yeah. A lot, yeah. <laughs> a lot. So we're not gonna do that. Fair we're enough. not gonna do that. Weird, weird. Mm. Also, you mentioned Female Acts won all of the televised awards at the Grammys. I don't wanna hear about the patriarchy anymore, ladies and gentlemen, all of them. Every single one. Was that intentional or do you think it just happened that way? I don't know. I, I, who knows? Like, it, But there is still so much more work, work to, to be, be done. done. It's never enough. Yes. Women are still oppressed in Hollywood and everywhere. SZA, Miley Cyrus, Billie Eilish, Taylor Swift, lots of them. Also, they also mentioned that um, Miley Cyrus didn't thank her dad in her, in her speech. Oh, yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift didn't thank Travis Kelsey in her speech. And that was also raising like, some eyebrows. I love the idea that he's like, I was going to propose to you at the Super Bowl. And now I'm not going <laughs> to because you didn't thank me. Someone replied, the New York Post is a 16 year old girl, apparently. But this is what you get, Taylor, when you act like a teenage girl, when in reality you were a 34 year old woman. Yes. I mean, the way and she the, was just a businesswoman cavorting around, just carrying on like that. It literally was like a girl winning prom queen. Well, it's the same thing. And whenever... bringing her friends on stage. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm so shy. I'm, I'm not used to doing acceptance speeches she's, on my 13th Grammy award. I like the idea that she's like, she's actually just doesn't want to go to these events because she doesn't want to have to keep giving speeches. Yeah, I just, it seemed like she was thoroughly enjoying the moment though. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye guys.